Hey, welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive, and the video is supposed to be for day 44 of my labs. It's actually probably day 46 now. Uh, the last couple of days I've been traveling. I'm, I'm actually in the airport right now. It's about 5.53 a.m. My flight's in a few minutes. But I wanted to shoot a quick video since it's been a while since I've uploaded a video uh, in regards to OSCP. A lot of stuff has happened over the last week. Um, many of you have seen the leak by um, the person on Twitter. I'm not going to mention their names. Don't want to give them any more publicity. But they pushed OSCP's hand and released some of the previous exams and basically made them public. So their gripe was that the OSCP offensive security is not taking them seriously and getting things updated in time. The thing to remember when a company is this big and there's a lot of stuff in play is it takes time for things like that to be changed and altered and updated. Now, yes, they've been like that for some time now, but there's a lot of testing things that go into play. So what does that mean for everyone else? It means that if you had those questions before, you're not going to see them again. Uh, it means there's definitely has been probably cheaters out there. And that's just a known thing when doing any type of business. Uh, there's a great um, presentation out there by the FBI on high stakes cheating and it's in regards to certifications, medical degrees, things like that. Um, and you'd be really surprised at the countries that are really involved in doing this type of stuff. If you're interested in seeing more, definitely uh, go out to Google, type that in, uh, FBI's high stake cheating. You should be able to find the presentation. Um, I'll try to find it and link it below. But the next thing I want to go over for today is three awesome tools that I've been using uh, recently in the OCP labs and things like that. The first one is this Maximus Powerless Bat. <clears throat> I first saw this posted in the OCP uh, forum over on the Facebook page. And this tool is basically a bat file, batch file, that runs without PowerShell. And it takes a lot of the Windows enumeration manual steps that you would do and basically automates them for you. And it's very simple to use. So basically all you're gonna do is you can log into the machine, uh, you can copy the file over using this command line here if you want. Uh, if you don't have another way to get it over there, so basically using CertUtil, which is a Windows built-in uh, application to transfer the file over to the machine. Now, once the file is on the machine, you're just going to run powerless.bat, and it's going to execute and run through. The cool thing about the output of this is you're going to copy the whole output, save that into a text file. And once that's in a text file, you're going to use a tool called Windows Exploit Suggester. And what this tool will basically do is it's going to take that output from uh, the powerless bat and run through it and compare it against known vulnerabilities and then basically make some suggestions to you of what's available out there for exploitation. Now this tool, um, I've used it a few times now. I would say the Windows Exploit Suggester is maybe, I would say maybe 87% give or take. Um, I, there's been a box or two where I knew the way in and it suggests a couple other ways where I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's gonna be a lot of work to get that to work. But it's very simple to use. First thing you're going to do is basically you're going to update it. And once it's updated, it downloads it like a local database to your machine. And once you have that database, you're just going to run Python, X, uh, Windows Exploit Suggester, the database, and the system file. And that's going to take all that data, put it together for you, and then basically give you the output. <clears throat> so that's a, a great tool. The final tool I want to show you for today is JAWS. Uh, JAWS is a Windows enumeration program. It uses PowerShell, so if PowerShell is restricted, uh, you may not be able to use it. But the cool thing with JAWS is, uh, well, it depends on PowerShell, right? You can use PowerShell-Execution-Policy-Bypass uh, and then JAWS and run it that way. And a lot of the machines in OSP work that way, some don't. So you'll be able to get the JAWS output. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to tell you the answer, just like PowerShell Bat is not going to tell you the answer. You still don't have to understand the output you're getting and how to uh, use that output to elevate your privileges. That being said, I want to go in the final section of uh, where I'm at. So over the last uh, 12 days since I did my last video, I have fully completed all the labs. The labs are done now. They're fully documented. I have wrote up my lab report, so all 10 machines have been documented and written up. Um, and I have um, compromised a few more boxes. So I'm about maybe 25 boxes that I haven't done last time. So I still have a bunch that I have done last time that I need to go back and redo because I've noticed a lot of changes. Um, one of the boxes I was doing had a very well-known um, web application that was exploitable. Uh, that web application is still the one you use. 
but they upgraded to a different vulnerable version. So you are seeing changes occurring, but they're slow changes. So all my notes from previous time, I basically went in to try to quickly expo exploit these boxes again, really focus on post exploitation. And it became frustrating because the way I thought to get in wasn't working anymore. So I had to go back to my whole enumeration process, figure it out, and then basically get back in that box and go from there. Um, with that being said, it's always good to go back and relearn, right? And it also shows that uh, OCP offensive security is making changes to the lab, making changes to the material to make it more relevant, to make it harder. Oh, well, I wouldn't say harder, to, to change it up. Um, so I'll have this video up. I'll get these three links in that video for you guys. Um, I don't really have much to show in my notes. I kind of want to show the tool running and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't connect my VM right now while I'm in the airport to really show it. Um, but I'm actually on my way to SANS to do my GX pen, uh, which is the advanced pen testing and exploit writing. So I'll give a couple videos this week on that, give you guys a couple updates on OSCP as time permits. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button, click the link above um, to be notified when new videos come up. And also, if you guys are looking to purchasing on Amazon, make sure you check out my store, digitaloffensive.com slash store. You can use the search function and look for other items that are not listed. Um, that is my Amazon affiliate program. Any uh, purchases, I do get a, a small percentage. I also have a Patreon account if you're interesting, interested in um, supporting the channel or um, having me do some type of other content related to this channel. Uh, there's a couple uh, levels out there. I'm still playing around with it. If you are a Patreon member, if you use Patreon in the past, let me know. I, I'm still learning the system and trying to figure out what people would be interested in getting for their donations and things like that within a reasonable thing. Also, I'm really close to uh, 1,000 subscribers. And as I said, 1,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. So if you haven't seen it yet, check out the giveaway video of what you would get. Um, if you already have the book that I was giving away, I'll still do the gift card for you, even if you're in the U.S. So, either way, make sure you click the video, subscribe. I look forward to you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Have a good day.